Hi viewers, this is the tour of uh, Bay Area Indian Garden, June 2020. This is uh, still a lockdown period here in the Bay Area, just like the rest of the world. Let's start with the curry leaf plant, which I pruned um, in the spring. Look at this, it is so lush and beautiful. I have a, a few <clears throat> baby eggplants growing here. That's the those two are the bush beans and i have some sweet pumpkin growing here they need to be trellised up fairly soon this is the serrano pepper look at these they are so prolific i can easily count about 20 of them in this plant now some marigold not really flowering though i don't know why we'll see and i these are the black beauty eggplants and uh, I did put another variety of wick plant. It's a purple one. I actually forgot the name. Hopefully once it fruits, we'll know. This are some corn seeds that I just threw in here. Actually, they have taken over. I'm just really worried that it's going to take over this bed. We'll see. These are the orange uh, bell peppers. It's green bell pepper. And uh, that's my red bell pepper. This is my... Um, tomato forest i do have uh, if you watched my previous video of may 2020 garden tour i probably told you that i have about 20 different tomato plants this is my banana tree actually it has two baby plants here right next to it this is a taro root that i actually um threw on the ground right next to the banana it's actually uh, growing really well. I'm excited. Look at this. This is my perhaps like a two to three year old um, green pepper. I already harvested a, a few uh, uh, peppers and there's more growing. Some more marigold head to flower. A um, few more green peppers and a pole beans here in this corner. And that is my winter squash. Here's the jujube uh, tree that we threw in this uh, corner like a couple of years ago. We did get a few fruits last year and I'm actually expecting to see a lot more fruits this year. It's actually a really cool one to grow. It's kind of not so bushy. It's thin and tall. Um, so it doesn't hog too much space. This is the gooseberry. I actually harvested um, a lot of gooseberries and I actually posted a video. I'll uh, link that video to this one if you're interested in knowing how these gooseberries taste. This is my early girl. They are ripening up, as you can see. One more uh, curry leaf plant. And these are the cucumbers. Here I have the New Zealand spinach and the French sorrel. I harvested them like a couple of days ago, but they grow so vigorously. Like they are one of the fast growers and almost like an evergreen, I would say. I actually barely take care of them in the winter and they come back every year. This bed here has a few more tomato plants. You might be wondering what these are. white powders are. They're actually gypsum salt. I do have the, let me see if I can find the tomato with the calcium deficiency. Here you can see the blossom end rod. So I have been trying a couple of techniques to see which one works. I sprayed uh, buttermilk uh, mixed in with the water a few days ago. I also um, buried a couple of Tums tablets next to the plant. And uh, just to give it more calcium, um, I had gypsum salt in the garden. So I just threw them in there to see how it works. We'll find out. Uh, thai peppers, um, they were baby plants a month ago. They're growing really well. Amaranth leaves, that's the blackberry plant. It's actually um, growing really well. I'm excited. No fruits yet though. 
There's some raspberries, no fruits yet, but uh, I'm sure I'll get it soon. Here's the sweet basil. Oh, these are delicious. I love them. I have a, a few watermelon plants. And another tomato forest here, obviously. In this bed. These are my white egg plants. Look at these beauties. Oh boy. I'm looking forward to harvesting them soon. These are the okras. I have about, um, you know, this tall okras, at least 10 plants. And I have few more that I uh, started from the seed, like two or three weeks after those tall plants. So hopefully they'll catch up soon and they'll start producing. I already started harvesting okras. There is uh, bush hyacinth beans. Another three more plants here of the same beans. These are my amaranth. They are like a weed in my garden. They grow everywhere. Almost every pot has it. More New Zealand spinach, mint, Swiss chard. These are ash gourd. They started flowering. Yet to see the female flowers though, but I'm sure they'll show up very soon. That's my bottle gourd. These are the gongura leaves. I harvested them once already. Um, made some chutney. It was super delicious. This was uh, one of the relatively new beds. It mostly has tomatoes and some beans, seeds on the um, in the soil. It to sprout. I believe this one might have been a volunteer. Let's see. Let's find out who this is. I have some uh, kale and spinach growing in this semi-shaded area. This is the grapes. I only have a really tiny uh, bunch. This is actually a four year old uh, plant. So I was hoping to have more grapes. I don't know what's happening. We need to troubleshoot this guy. That's the uh, bitter gourd. No flowers yet, but the plant is looking healthy so far. These are the zucchinis. Oh, look at this one. This is a jamun um, tree. I got the seedlings from, I'm trying to remember the website, So Exotic. That's the name of the website. Um, they just arrived like a couple of days ago. I need to pot them. Um, when they're mature, they're supposed to be about 20 to 40 feet. We'll see how to find some space and protect them from in the winter season too. Uh, summer yellow squash, summer squash. And this is the plant that I'm actually super excited about. This is a three to four year old um, Moringa plant. I thought it actually died and I trimmed the, the top and it just took off. I'm so excited. I'm happy to see it coming back. Some corn in this uh, 20 inch container. More hyacinth bean or pop tea. This bed um, looks empty, but I have a lot of beans, uh, seeds, uh, the dragon tongue beans and a uh, few uh, amaranth uh, seeds in there that I just recently sowed. I'll show you a list of, uh, you know, the seeds that I um, got uh, for June. Just so I know it might sound a little too late, um, but actually not. Bay Area, I think we can still get a decent harvest before the next, uh, before 2020's first um, frost i have about three ridge gourd plants in these two containers here the plant seems to be growing reasonably well but i am yet to see a female flower i'm actually slightly worried about this plant i'm not really sure what's happening hopefully they show up very soon i've been trying to troubleshoot this giving it more fertilizer more water i've mulched the pot so the water doesn't um, you know dry out in the hot summer days mm, still waiting to see the female flowers this is my strawberry bed 
you're doing good and i can see some more strawberries actually the strawberries are here yay this is a wonderful pomegranate it's a small plant that i got from home depot Lowe's. i can't remember one of those it's growing well this is my guava i actually had them on the ground they didn't grow well so i actually uprooted it and threw it on the spot and now it's been growing reasonably well so far this is one of the um i actually think this might be a cucumber i don't know this is a volunteer plant i didn't sow the seeds i have a few more zucchini seedlings here this is my cantaloupe some pole beans growing next to the wall and some more bush beans we do consume a lot of beans in this in our family so i do not mind growing a lot of beans these tiny babies here these are butternut squash this would be my first time growing them i'm excited and looking forward to actually getting some harvest and again this is another volunteer one and i have no clue what this is so we'll have to wait and see on the fruit section as you can see there are tons of plums on the floor look at these i must have had at least around thousand fruits in this tree i've been giving them away and there are still a lot more to be harvested i also have uh, asian pear growing not ready for harvest yet hopefully sometime in early fall is when i'm expecting these to mature but yeah that concludes my june uh, 2020 garden tour it's uh, been uh, a fun experience so far see you guys soon